Oh, seems like I got a floor. Let's pull this up from underneath. What? It's like a piece of track, like a railroad track. What's up, guys? So, I've been on this uh, journey for a while here. Um, if you guys like treasure hunting, which you probably do, I've been on a, my own personal hunt. Um, you ever heard of Captain Kidd? Well, I found a bunch of leads in some old early newspapers uh, from the 19, I'm sorry, 19, 1730s. Found some old newspapers from the 1730s of some people who claim to be with Captain Kidd. Um, his journey where he uh, and some of his men stole some of his treasure and hid it. Uh, obviously, there's nothing today that is just like it was 300 years ago. But there are some landmarks that they talk about. And I am going to one of those landmarks right now. It is the largest privately owned land on Long Island. And uh, we are currently sprayed up with lots of um, insect repellent because we are in tick season. I wanted to come out here last week because of the grass growth and everything, but um, finally just made it out here. So we are currently entering the thicker brush here. This is a tree line. And now we're gonna see some uh, beautiful stuff. Uh, some natural beauty, beauty that has been hidden from uh, the public on Long Island for since they own this. They bought this property, uh, the people bought this property in um, 1908 and it is still owned by the same people. And if I said the last name of the people who own this property, you would probably know their last name. So the last name of the person who bought this property in 1908 was the Bilderbergs. Yeah, that's right. The famous family, the Bilderbergs. They bought this property in 1908. Why they bought this property is a mystery and also a coincidence that it is known to be a place uh, where Captain Kidd supposedly buried their yeah, treasure. It's still privately owned and uh, we are currently approaching the water feature here. Let's check it out. So we are currently here and this is why we're here. This is the water that comes from the natural spring that they talk about in this paper. Um, so I have my trusty metal detector here. I just want to see if I get anything at all, any at all, on um, in this uh, river that has been on this private property for a really long time. I have my machete here, just in case we get some thick brush. A lot of mosquitoes that I sprayed myself, but uh, I've also got my rubber boots on to see how beautiful this uh, this little stream is. If we travel this way, this is up the stream towards the origination point, and that is uh, supposedly where the spring is that um, some of this treasure was buried. So, and uh, hopefully we get something. Anything would be nice. So I bought this new chest mount um, holder, and we're gonna test it out today, see if it works well. Um, guess we'll all find out together. Hopefully it's not too shaky. Let's put this thing on. Let's get down in this water. Oh, I'm so glad I brought these boots. I should have brought my strainer though. Didn't bring my strainer, but uh, I guess this will be okay for now. I'm just gonna see if we get anything at all or in here. We got some metal here. This is what we were just getting. Let's see what it is. Looks like a piece of track, like a railroad track. What is that? Does anybody know what this is? It is completely cast iron. A 
Very interesting. Put it to the side, grab it on the way back. Let's keep on moving. You hear that? Overload. That is pure iron, whatever that is. Let's see what it is. Should I dig it? I might as well. I know this property was used in the early uh, 1700s. Oh, got something here. That looks like a piece of lead. Yeah, it's pliable. It is lead. I come to find out that it's actually 100% slate. It is not lead. So, let's check under here. Make sure there's nothing under here. Um, slate does absorb water over time, and uh, that is why it's like that. And it is a little pliable. You can see these pieces of wood I'm digging up here. This is actually come to be a, a foundation of some kind of building uh, or some kind of structure that was here earlier. Um, probably from uh, some bricks on top. 1750s to uh, uh, 1790s, somewhere in that range. If anybody has any idea what this lake could be used for during that time, please leave a comment. Let me know. Very curious. Thank you. This place has been off limits for how many years? And finding this stuff here is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. This stuff's been buried for a really long time. Still find some more pieces here. Could that be? I don't know what it is. But here's a little. It's a nail. Found a nail. Really, really old nail. I'm keeping this one. Wish I had a spot to sit. Well, all I know is these uh, pirates, all the books I read, they like to bury things in the middle of two hills. That's where they mark things. They always buried them between two hills. And uh, I know a few hundred years is different, but you got a little hill on that side. If you feel further back, you probably can't see it. All the way back there. There's a hill, and there's a hill on that side. And they always bury next to a water feature because that's how they mark their stuff. Um, again, wishful thinking, but uh, still curious to know what is here. Um, from a few hundred, from the early 1700s. It's the last time this property was occupied. Down the middle piece. Does anybody know what this is? Could this be... I mean, is it metal? Is it lead? Um, could be part of a chimney, possibly? I don't know. Could have been uh, part of their house. Was their house here? The earliest photos I got is from uh, 1930. Actually, sorry, the earliest photos I got is from uh, the 1880s, but um, satellite imagery is um, 1930. All right. I guess we can leave this. We'll take a little bit of a walk up the stream. Out of breath, have no water. Got everything but my water. So I am famished. <coughs> my mouth is super dry. And I'm a big guy, so I like uh, a lot of water. <coughs> but I am, uh, it's currently over there on the other side of that natural dam. I'm currently moving upstream. I marked the place for another time to come back when I have more time. We are just gonna go up the stream see where it goes before we run out of time nice little natural habitat for uh 
some animals, that's really cool. Check it out, we got a split up here. Split in the stream. Which way would you guys go? Oh my god, my feet are sinking here. All right. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Let me go to the left. A little deeper. We got a lot of natural dams in here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Let's see. I just think it's awesome because... I'm gonna have to go back. Can't get through there without my machete. This place is awesome. If you live on Long Island or no Long Island, it's a shame this is uh, hidden from the public. Um, people don't even know this exists until I stumbled upon it, like I said, through a news article when I was looking up things on Captain Kidd. And, uh, yeah, piqued my interest. So, I was here once before. <clears throat> it gets very muddy and uh, sink a lot. So we're just gonna head downstream. Um, this place look up here. Well, yeah, my feet are already sinking down. Downstream looks like I get a little more uh, footing. Maybe a little better for exploration. Look at that. Got some pink quartz right here. <clears throat> pink quartz. I have gotten pink quartz a few times from here. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, so I did some more digging. And I'm pretty sure I found a, a frame to a structure, some kind of structure. Um, I'll wait till the water clears here. But there was something here. To get a little clear, I'll show you. There you guys. Can you see it? Right there. It looks like a four by four, like a railroad tie. It is completely submerged. Uh, this is where I found, you can see the bricks over there. Uh, right here. You can see this railroad tie. Feels like it ends right over there. You got bricks right there. It's definitely four by four. Um, I put my hand around it, it's definitely uh, four by four. Did Both ends though are uh, clearly underground. Um, um, it could have been a mill from a long time a ago. Um, what kind of mill, I don't know. There's nothing in a maps well, that, from that time that money. show what it was. Um, so what do you guys think? Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Mm, found another nail. Um, very old school, man. So cool. This is cool. Now you can see the 4x4. Um, looks like a 4x4. I mean... I got a floor. Let's pull this up from underneath. What? Right, there's a lot more to uncover here. So, it's two by four. Try right, four by fours right here. And we got some floorboards here. The floorboards go perpendicular to the 4x4, four four, so um, it's definitely a uh, floorboard. Floorboards. Although we didn't find any treasure, uh, we did find some history, some lost stuff that uh, has been covered in a few hundred years. What it is, we don't know, but we will be back to find out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment if you want more, and uh, we will see you in the next video.